Okay, today what I want to do is go ahead and show you a hand that I've put together for our XO2 project. This hand is built out of some very simple stuff. First of all, let me show you the the dynamics of the hand. You can see we only have three main fingers, not four like our standard human hand, but we do have our thumb. Open this all up. Open up our thumb here. And there you go. We now have a open hand and I'm going to set up the cabling system. I'll show you the holes already drilled in the thumb that I've got the cables lined up on both sides so we can both close it and open it with the cable driven right from our main winch on the uh, back of the suit. So right now as you can tell we've got a nice open hand. It'll close around an object really well so all together when it closes down into a solid fist it'll look just like this. So if I hold it there for you you can see the the look of our robotic hand. Um, that hand is basically built out of the cable guide for the front of one of those winches that we used. The main pieces, the burlier chunks of the fingers, are the outer roller wheel that you see right here. The uh, inner pin is the very tips of the fingers. And the black part that you see back here, that part, these parts here, are just some black steel tubing that I had. And I've used that across one of the main pins in the back, so one of the main pins that were on the roller bearing thing. So even the frame here is also part of the hand. So that's just pinned in, all the fingers are on there, even the thumb is now pinned in, in between the two uh, top fingers, so that way they line up nicely in between each other. On a more advanced model here, you could make each finger move individually, but on this model, all our fingers are going to move kind of in unison together, pull together all at once. That way you can grip something with it and they'll also, once again, release all at once. Okay, so I'm done now with the cables that are necessary to draw the hand closed. And they're going through all the knuckle areas here, all the way up to the very tips of the fingers. You can see them coming out right there in my thumb, going up to the tips of the fingers. The thumb's ready to go. So what I want to do now is quickly just actuate each one of the fingers for you. So there's your first finger comes all the way down, as you can see like that. If I go ahead and pull the thumb at the same time, you can see the the grip that it's going to have there. You go ahead and now pull the rest of the other two fingers. There's that one. And there's that one. So you can make a nice fist with it. And I'm not pulling quite as hard on the rest of them as I am on that one. Once this is hooked up to the winch motors, it'll draw a really nice tight fist. Let me set up something to grab with this just to show you that you can grab something with it. Alright, I'm just going to pull on two of the cables here. This is the thumb and the first finger. Let's go ahead and grab the can. So you there we go, we can lift the can up here. You can see that. Let me go ahead and grab the rest of the cable, see if I can get them on there nicely. Okay. So there we go, there's the, all the fingers and the thumb holding on to the tin can. We let it go, and we'll grab it again. So there we go. I just wanted to show you that, folks. That was a way that you can build your own robotic hand, and I'm not really sure if I'm going to use springs to return the hand to full open again which is all the way out like this, or if I'm going to go ahead and just run the other set of cables back here through the back side of all the knuckles and do a cable driven. 